Hello, my name is Luke Marchand and welcome to my Arduino team project that I worked on with Faith Goodman. Uh, we worked on an Arduino vending machine. If you want to check out her website, uh, if you're watching this on my ePortfolio, there will be a link to her website there. Um, but you can also check out our GitHub for our project, which you can type this link into your web browser or you can click the link that I will provide on my ePortfolio to check out our GitHub for our project. So if we go over to our GitHub, uh, you can see there is a fork button where if you click that it will let you make your own changes to my project and I will be able to see them and check that out. So we can kind of collaborate in a way and you can make changes to our project. So that will be cool. And so, if we head over to my uh, virtual machine, I have my glow boards open on Git Kraken. So, I have a to-do spot, an in-progress spot, and a done spot. So, um, if we see in my done, I have the hardware. We got all the hardware. Uh, we have phase one done, and we have phase two done. And oh, a little thing I forgot to mention is that both me and Faith can access the access this spot in our uh, in our Git Kraken. So we both can see all these exact same things. And if uh, she wants to see what just she has, she can click on her picture, and it will show her just her things. And if she clicks on my picture, she can see my things. So that's pretty neat thing. And um, in our um, in our tasks, we have a task list, which are called sprints. And um, we can uh, check these to see, say, when we're done with these sprints. They're just little things, and then we'll see. Uh, for phase two, uh, we didn't entirely finish phase two, but we put it in the done because we decided we weren't going to do that. But we didn't completely get rid of the sprint because we might want to come back to this at one point, making the vending machine exterior. But that's just the basis of our glow boards. And if we go to our actual uh, GitHub repository with all our branches and things, we can see we have the master branch, which has our finished version of our code and the pictures on it. Um, and if we go over to Arduino IDE, we can see the code for our master branch, which is vending machine final. Um, we have these includes, which are uh, the screen and the include at the stepper motor. And um, we define what steps mean. Steps is 32, which is for the stepper motor. As you can see, it uses that steps. Uh, we have some integers, a receiver, so it can receive when it's the laser is being input. And then we have a button receiver. We have a float for how much money the person has put into the vending machine. And we have some booleans for is laser detected and a boolean called welcome so that it knows, hey, is it saying welcome? Because uh, originally the screen was glitching out when it was printing welcome over and over and over again, which was not a good thing. And so now we have that so it just won't freak out. And so we have our void setup. We have a pin mode receiver input, and then we have a pin mode button input, so it knows that it is getting input from the receiver and input from the button. Uh, it sets the speed of the stepper motor to 700. Not entirely sure what the 700 is, but I know it, we tested a few different speeds, and 700 was what we wanted. We have the LCD.begin, so that the screen will light up. And then we tell the screen to print welcome. And then we'll do the serial begin so that we can um, start getting input. Um, so here we have integers for the receiver value and the button value. And so uh, if money, if there's no money in the screen, it will just print welcome. Uh, as long as welcome is equal to false because we don't want it to print welcome over and over and over again. 
like it was and glitching out. So, uh, and then we have if the receiver value is low so that there is no laser being detected, uh, it will print, it will, uh, make the screen print how much money it is and then it will also add money because the laser has been broken and therefore a coin has been put into the vending machine uh, and then it will um, when the money is uh, high enough so our item will cost 75 cents when the button has been pressed it will say dispensing and then the stepper motor will spin and then it will uh, take that take out the certain amount of money if they've put in more money than 75 cents and then the vending machine will act like normal and if there's no more money it will continue to print welcome again um, if we go to Chrome I have the pictures open for my for our project and as we can see, here's our original original picture with the late with the all the wires over here, uh, the laser receiver, uh, some more female 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 wires, and then some and then the laser. And then we have a breadboard and Arduino board. And if we go to the next picture, we can see we added our motor. And if we go even closer you can see uh, we added a lot more and uh, we have our laser we have our laser receiver here and then we have our laser which should be right down here which you can barely see and then we have our screen in here with a potentiometer to change the screen brightness along with the motor still put in and the brand new Arduino Mega which we were allowed to use by so we had more spots to um, for things. Uh, here we have a picture of our screen saying dispensing, and the laser is broken. So this is just a picture of all the hardware again. And then we have more pictures of it saying welcome, and then just all the hardware stuff. And then this is it when it's not plugged in. And if we see here, we have the video of the vending machine working. And if we full screen this, we can play it. And as you can see, every time I break the laser from the uh, receiver, it will add 25 cents to it. And then when I press the button, the motor will spin. And it will spin a full 360 degrees. So, um, we got around to printing, or 3D printing, some designs for uh, extra things for our vending machine, which here, if we go over to Tinkercad, as you can see, we have a 3D printed, this is a spring, where if when we put the uh, items in the spring and it will spin, and it will um, it will dispense the items. As you can see, there's a hole in the spot here for the motor to stick into, and so it can connect to the motor. Uh, next, we have a rail for the vending machine so that our items do not fall out of the sides of the of the vending machine. So the spring fits into here, and um, and it will spin. And as you can see, there's holes for the motors, and there's these holes on the sides so that we can screw the motor in and it will stay secure in the rail. And then we have a laser holder so that it will hold the laser for the, uh, for the laser to be constantly pointing at the, at the receiver. So the laser will be stuck into this hole and then the receiver will be stuck into this hole and then the laser will be pointing at the receiver and as soon as a coin passes through here uh, it will block it out and the laser will no longer be receiving or it will no longer be receiving the laser 
and then it will add 25 cents. And as you can see, I put a little thing that says created by me, Luke M, and Faith Goodman. And if we had more time, we would go back to this uh, sprint that we have here, and we would probably try to make a vending machine exterior. That's what. That's just what we would do if we had more time to finalize our vending machine. Maybe add a few more motor spots and buttons for things to for people to get. But yeah, that's about it for our Arduino team project. So. Once again, I would like to remind you to go to our GitHub, visit this, fork it, make some changes, and so I can check it out. And that would be really cool for you to make your own, make your own version of our vending machine. So uh, thank you so much for watching my Arduino team project that I worked on with Faith Goodman. And I will see you later.